Hi guys, Brett here from Hearns Hobbies and today I'd like to take a look at and show you guys Futaba's latest radio, the Futaba 4PM Plus. Now it's going to be very familiar in that it's only got a few software up changes and updates, but this is to, uh, this is Futaba Australia's highest selling radio, surface radio. So, and by surface radio, I mean fit for cars and what we use on the surface. Cars, tanks, whatever you want to use. Okay, so the box is open. What have we got here? We've got our Australian warranty card. Now that's super important. When you're buying a radio in Australia, you want to make sure that it comes from a Futaba, Futaba Australia, which means it's covered by the manufacturer's warranty and all the rules. Now in here we have the 4 p.m. instruction manual and the update for the 4 p.m. plus. Now, like I said, it really is just a software change. Now what they have done is they've allowed the 4 p.m. radio to go to um, two more, what I call communication protocols. So it will talk to um, Mini Z Evo and it will now talk to uh, Mini Z FHS. Um, signals. To do the Mini Z Evo you'll need a Mini Z Evo car set and then to do the Mini Z FHS that is the traditional one that you take out of the box of ready to run sets but you will have to buy a module for the radio but it will communicate with both of those models straight away so that is really really good option and a really valuable update. So being Australia's highest selling radio let's jump right in. You can see now they've used very environmentally responsible packaging. First thing we're greeted with, I'll get the radio out of the way, are the receivers. Now this set comes with two receivers. So for the price, we get two receivers and they are the 334 SBS. And that is a telemetry um, receiver capable of SR transmission and SR mode for super fast transmission mode. So I'm just gonna zoom in here so we can take a look like so here we have and that's how tiny the receiver is now that is a really good up until very recently and the 10px came along this was the current model receiver so it's only one generation behind the new 10px is a f4g communication protocol this three series receiver obviously is not, but goes all the way up to TFHSS and then SR mode. And they do have an S bus port here, so it is expandable and switchable. Four channel receivers, really, really good. So they can be used in electric, nitro, all sorts of your applications. Now that receiver is also available, the 334SBS-E with an antennaless or a short antenna mode. Just makes mounting inside your one tenth uh, electric powered vehicle that little bit easier and neater. Okay, so that's the receivers out the way. We've got a little Futaba toolkit here. So in here we've got a two mil Allen key, a one and a half mil Allen key, and a soft plastic screwdriver. And that'll be to carry out various adjustments on the transmitter. I'm just gonna zoom out again here. Okay, now let's start looking at the transmitter itself. I'll pop it right out of the packaging. Here we have very, very neat controller. Now, when you pick this up and hold this transmitter, you definitely know that you're holding something quality and something for Taba. Has a really nice feel in the steering and the throttle. Now, the throttle is fully adjustable on the rail underneath here, so you can adjust the range and the angle and the spring tension of the, the throttle rail, if you want to call it. Um, so you can adjust the preload on the spring there to change how it feels. And you can change it, the amount of throw that you have on the brake and on the throttle. So really, really good adjustment. Another adjustment this radio has under here, that little hole, that's for the adjustment on the steering preload. So you can adjust the feel of the steering. Now it has a super high quality foam foam wheel. It's really nice to the touch. Got a super big display screen there. Now what I like about the 4PM Plus, and a lot of people will like about it too, is much like the 4PM, doesn't have a touch screen. So it's a little bit more robust than the 10PX. Um, 
and it's just it's just as easy to use has a few less features but that's a lot of them that go unused anyway I'm going to take the battery compartment off the bottom you can see here that it takes four AA cells now that will also have the same recess as your um, 3PV and 10PX so you can use a similar battery packs LiPo or life configuration um, most of the time yeah we use a life battery in our transmitters so I'm just getting the batteries out of my pocket like so go ahead and I've got just got some dry alkalines here we'll go ahead put some batteries in this and fire it up put the case on clips on really really nice beautiful presentation feels even better with the, the cells in it the weight in it okay now I'm going to go ahead and power this bad boy up now you can see here we've got a beautiful screen with so crisp and clear and easy to to navigate it's very typically for Taba. I'm just zooming in a bit now on the camera okay so we can see here that we're in TFH mode and the throttle is switched off um, as I'm actuating the steering you can see it moving on the, the bar indicator down here uh, and the throttle so first and second channels um, we've got our dial our digital trim controls assigned on the wheel so we've got DT, DT1 which will be left and right for channel 1 and DT2 which will be um, a bit of changing our neutral point on our throttle um, we've also got third and fourth channel controls now let's go into the menu and have a look so you can see here we've got access to four menus four and then back so exponential we got speed um, and that relates to the speed you can control the speed of your servos or your throttle inputs throttle acceleration throttle ABS um, we've got throttle mode, traction, reverse, sub trims, endpoints, dual rates, and channel 3, channel 4, and there'll be a lap timer. Go across to, you've got model select, model name, model copy. Um, so you can see all the way here, goes down into our S bus, um, MC link, gyro link. So there's not much here, four wheel steering that you can dial in dual ESC, um, channel mixing, all available on the 4PM plus. Coming down here to the fourth menu, timer, lap list, telemetry. So you can get telemetry um, sensors for your receivers. Plug them in the S bus um, port on the receiver and you can read things like voltage, temperature, whatever your sensor set up for. It's really handy in electric. We use it for, um, I use it for motor temp when I'm practicing to ensure that I'm not overheating my motor. Yeah, so that is the 4PM. Um, like I said, it is definitely not a base model radio, but it is a really, really good compromise between something like the 3PV, which is an entry level um, two or three channel radio that we use for racing. Um, this is the, the mid spec the 4PM plus and then up to the mighty the, uh, the the 10 px that we've got here now you can see next to it just how unfussy and how complicated it is towards the 10 px um, the buttons the dials there's far less on the 4PM and to be honest it probably just is more intimidating and more functions than most 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 people will ever use so the 4PM is a really great balance um, and the fact that it comes with two receivers is really good that you can actually yeah set up and most most of us will have more than one one car so you can set up straight away um, and makes it really good value at the price point to include two receivers with it so the only thing that i'd be doing for this would be buying a life lipo battery for the for the handset um, instead of using the dry cells but you can use them to get you out of a pinch and that just ensures that you've got plenty of power on hand whenever you need it. You don't have to worry about flat batteries changing them. Just charge them before you go out for a race day. Yeah. Well, I'm Brett from Hearns, and thanks for having a look at Futaba's latest mid-spec radio, the 4PM+.